Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Manette Farms map. This is by Mappers Paradise, which is a fantastic mapping group. Um, this is 333.96 megabytes to download. Unfortunately, it's for PC and Mac only. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off by reading the description. It says, welcome to Manette Farms. This map is based off of Manette Farms headquarters located in Swift Current, Canada. They own and operate several other farms across Canada and also in the United States. The map consists of 17 fields of various sizes and shapes, Manette Cattle Farm, Manette Seed Production, and many new farm and map models. So there you go. Um, it does have one required mod, the Borgo 3420-100 Paralink Code Drill, uh, plus the 71300 or 71300 Air Cart. That's all one mod. That is by Giant Software. Um, if you download this from the in-game mod hub, it'll automatically download that as well. Um, but if you download it from the website like I did, you'll have to download it by clicking the link there for it on the website. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to just fast forward time before I forget, because I always forget. Just get us up to noon so we can see a little bit better across the map. Lower our time back down. Let's hop into the menu here. So here we are starting out new farm mode. This looks like our starting farm. Yep. So we start out owning uh, land 20, 11, 30, 28, and 1. It looks like you can buy, yep, you can buy all the roads. I think you can buy pretty much everything on the map. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't think there's anything you can't buy. Uh, so yeah, we have this nice little area here, which I think this is, yeah, this is going to be like the cattle Cattle barn area, um, I'm assuming it's grass maybe. So I just had to look over there. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay, and there's our cattle barn up there. Uh, so a lot of stuff going on. We'll walk around, take a look around this area here. I think we do, yeah, we do have a pickup truck. Um, so we might hop up to the pickup truck and do a quick drive around, maybe a little bit on the map. But I think most of this is probably gonna be seen pretty well from um, the air. I think that's gonna give the best view and feel to it. Um, I don't think this is a 4X map. It looks like a 2x map to me, unless these fields are absolutely massive. It's got to be a 2x map. Um, so I'm not sure why it's not out on console. It could be something that gets released to a uh, console later and is just out on PC for now. So that could very well change. Um, as we go down here, no new crops. It looks like everything looks pretty standard. Um, any new products? Nope, nothing in there. A lot of starting equipment. We'll take a look at that in the store. Um, you start off with $100,000 in new farm mode. I don't know why I lost a little bit. Water costs. They must have built us for some water somewhere. Uh, probably for a cow barn. Um, but $100,000 new farm mode, no starting loan. Yep, we do have some cows, so that explains that. Um, because as you know, they bill you for water. You don't have to put water in the in the cow pens. Um, there are a lot of uh, contracts in here, and some of these pay very well. Um, field 5, that's got to be the big one, right? No, not even the biggest one. Uh, pretty, I mean, large field. Don't get me wrong, that's a large field, but not the biggest. Uh, no production chain starting out, and there are two collectibles on the map, which I don't know where those are at, but uh, there you go. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and take a look around our starting farm, but first let's take a look at our equipment. So if we go down to garage, we have a JCB. Jason will be a fan of that. We've got the fast track in there. We also have, uh, oh wow, we have two uh, Steiger quad track 470s, two Steiger wheelhead, or no, a Steiger wheel, wheeled 470, and then a Magnum 400 power drive. So a lot of case in there. A couple of Mac anthems. We also have Holy smokes, we have one, two, three, four, 92, 50 harvesters there. We also have a pickup truck. We have plenty of trailers, which I probably figured we would since I just looked out and saw them out um, right there. Um, oops, let's go back in here, sorry, got distracted there. Uh, continuing on, we have a couple of Demco auger wagons. We have three headers and a corn header, so you could have all four of those guys running at once. A uh, disc harrow, we also have our seed drill, so this is why that mod is required, is it's part of the starting equipment for you. Um, we also have a small mower. Get out of here. You're not going to use that if you have all that big equipment. Uh, that's wild. Uh, we also have a small tether. We have a forage wagon. We have a uh, TMR mixer. We also have a front loader, front loader tools, attachments here. We got bell spike, manure fork, universal bucket. Uh, we have one weight, and then we have one of the belt system. So I'm assuming that we probably need the other belt to get them out. Maybe not. We'll have to take a look around. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around the farm. All right. So as we walk this way, Big shit over here. Kind of want to take a look at what this little guy is here. Can we go in here? Sure can go in here. Kind of a cool little garage. Yeah, it's kind of nifty. Fuel tank right here. It won't let me... That's odd. We do own this land, right? Yes. For whatever reason, it's not letting me access that. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. It might be, sometimes I have a weird issue on my game where I have to like hop into a vehicle and then hop out and it might let me do things now. Nope, I didn't fix it. So I have no idea what's going on with that. 
Huge storage facility here. This looks like a, oh, it says fertilizer storage on it. Uh, but that says Manette water tanks. I'm assuming we're probably gonna get water out of that. Um, and this looks like we have a repair trick. Holy cow, that texture. That texture might need to be cleaned up a little bit. That might drive me crazy if I was on here. Gosh, feels like I need new glasses. I'm assuming there's probably, I don't see a repair trigger anywhere unless it's upstairs. Oh, here it is right here. Here we go. Now it's, that trigger's working. So it could be something, just a small issue with the map over there too. But yeah, very large uh, storage facility there. Um, and I wonder if we can sell this guy. Yeah, we can. So it might just be, oh no, we can't sell it. That is really odd. Even if I go demolish, no, well, let me demolish it. So that's probably something that has to get fixed by the mapper. Um, if the trigger's not working for you guys, that's probably something. It could be something on my end as well, uh, but that's probably what it is. Um, a lot of stuff parked out through here. Um, we have our, we have a lot of grain bins around the whole farm. So that's what's kind of crazy to me is all these things are flat bottom bins around here. Those ones in the back, I'm surprised those ones aren't as well. Oh, no, that is a big silo system. It's just on the other end. Um, so yeah, you'd put it in using this, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like that's for putting in the stuff, but for getting it out, I guess you have to still buy, yeah, it looks like you'd still need it. So you probably still have to buy the other auger wagon, which would be, we go into here. It would be this guy right here that you're probably going to need as well. Not a terribly big deal there. I'm surprised they didn't start you with it. Get your Paralink out here. A couple of our trucks are out here with their trailers. Over here, we got ourselves this guy right here. Big drive through shed for us. All of our headers out here, all of our other stuff. I kind of like how the farmyard's kind of uh, structured. I like that. This is the silo endpoint here. And then silo out point. Oh, I bet you it's at the other end. Yes, right over here. Yep. Okay, perfect. We have more bins, it looks like. Yeah, more bins across here. This is the other end of that big storage facility. I'm going to come back to those in a second. We also have this little shed right up front here. Some little decorative stuff. And this house. Oh, we can't go inside. Assuming there's going to be... Oh, sleep trigger, maybe. I can go into that room. Door open? Nope, oh, just that door, maybe. There we go. That looks like... Sleep trigger if I've ever seen one. Maybe, some, I don't know, I'm maybe having some issues with the triggers, but I'm not getting any of these triggers to come up on my end. Oh, that one came up. The wardrobe one came up, so sleep triggers might not be working. Again, could be something on my end. I can't guarantee it's something wrong with the map, but it might just be a quick update from the mapper. Um, all right, come back over here. So we got a few things going on. So this silo system right here, you can do herbicide in it. This silo system over here, we can do, ooh. My wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, grapes, olives, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar beet cut, sugar cane seeds, total mixed ration, wood chip, silage, road salt, lime, pig food, mineral feed, manure, salt fertilizer, and then back to wheat. That's pretty cool, actually. Have that. Just buy it there. And then I'm assuming, I don't know where you get it out. I'm assuming you just pull up to get it out of these guys because they have another one right there. And if we go over here, we got a whole bunch of silos along here. Lime, salt fertilizer. Lime and salt fertilizer. I'm assuming all these are going to be the same, but there you go. So that is your starting farm down here, at least. Um, we do on the, I did mention that we owned a pickup truck, right? Okay, yeah. Say, because we haven't seen all of our equipment yet. So you have all this stuff down here, up over here. Um, we're going to just kind of hop up here. We do have a fermenting silo. I think we still have to purchase it. Yeah, 135,000 if you want to use the fermenting silo. It is very loud if you can't hear that. Um, is this out of bunker silage storage? Then we have another storage facility here opening up slowly. There we go. A little office there. Milwaukee tool. I'm surprised that made it. I'm surprised that made it. That could have, that literally could be the thing that caused it to not go to consoles. Seriously, like a that could have been what caused it not to go to consoles, which is so funny to me. Um, but I get it. I get it. Uh here we go. Here's a big bunker silo. It's gotta be. Yep, big old bunker silo there. Uh, over here looks like our cow barn. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. There's some stuff out here stored. So I'll take a look at some of that real quick. That's kind of nifty, like an old beat up truck down here. 
a Kansas plate. Somehow came here to Canada from Kansas. There we go. Okay. And up here. And here is our cow barn, which we have some cows in, and we can be up to 100. Oh, we are overstocked on the cows. That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it looks like the cows kind of graze out in this open field. You could definitely do some mowing up here, though, as well. Um, we don't need that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So that's the starting farm. So we're going to hop in this truck. We're going to do a little bit of driving around here. We're going to see. We're going to put the map down there, see if we can get out of here effectively. We'll do a quick drive around, and then what we'll do is we'll do a quick flyover and call it good, I think, at that point. So um, the farms are the main things that I wanted to show off. There's probably a nice uh, road that goes in our shed down here. It's kind of nice. There's probably a nice road that goes around. Oh, no, that one doesn't go that way. So we're just going to take a right. I don't see if there's a road that goes around the edge. That would kind of help decide where we're going to go. But that has made the decision for us. So on the map here, we'll head down all the way down to the very bottom. Yeah, I think we'll just head. Well, honestly, I think those two bottom sections that we're going to see first, I think what we're going to do, we'll hit this. And this on the flyover. What I want to go drive down and see is this area. And then I also want to end up out here and see that area. So we'll hit those two on the flyover. Down here we have the Darut and Debris Crusher cell points. Uh, we also have the sawmill down here and then a gas station. Over here we have the Swift Grain Elevator, which it does show up as a production. Um, we have the Redhead Dealership, uh, Milk Market, Lime Station, Swift Dairy, Swift Market, and the uh, Wool Market right there. And then up here we have the Animal Dealer, Animal Dealer Cell Point. We'll also have Manette Seeds and seed production up there. Yeah, we just want to see that and gas station up there. So, yeah, so we're just going to head across and then down and then back all the way up to the top and then do a flyover to take a look at everything else. I think that'll just be probably the most effective way to kind of show off everything I want to show off. Um, I wish they had, instead of just like this painted texture, I kind of wish they had roads. But I will say this, the nice thing about this being a painted texture is you can buy this land and you can paint it whatever you want. So you literally could just remove this road if you wanted to. Um, so that is the one advantage to how it's set up there. And I do hope this does come to console, so I hope whatever needs to be fixed to get it there, um, it can get there. Well, it's interesting that this road goes, this is a legit road that goes up and down near where the farm's at. That's kind of interesting. We're going to cross it and head out this way. All right, and this should take us up, getting a drink of coffee there. Should take us out. These roads are a little wild, though. I wish that would have been... Wish that would have been a little bit smoother, I think. To be fair, though, even though they are a little wild, I think my, my truck's doing pretty good for going 75 over them. So there's not any crazy bumps or anything in them, which is kind of nice. All right, and this heads out here to another main road here. And we're just going to take a, a left. I'll say a right, but take a left and head down this way. Um, as we're heading down this way, we're going to pass again Wool Market, Swift Market. Then we got Swift Dairy, Lime Station. So there's the wool market right there. Nice area here, Swift Dairy there. Um, there's some cool stuff down here. Um, yeah, so Swift Dairy, and we also have, is that sell point for it? Swift, oh, Swift Market, sorry, Swift Market right there. You can see Swift Current on it, and then we have Swift Dairy. And then just behind it, we have the Lime Station, which can we see in this? Yeah, there it is right there. That silo right there is the Lime Station. And then we also have the Milk Market, and then that is really cool right there. Look at that little like uh, shop right there with all the vehicles in it. That's awesome. I love that. It looks fantastic. Old police car, ambulance there. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, as we're continuing down, oh, it's going to save the game for me. That's fine. Um, we have the dealership, huge, very area on the left-hand side, and then we have the grain elevator. So huge dealership here. And then we have the grain elevator right here. And then we have the edge of the map. So there we go. And this says Lork is a production down here. I'm assuming it's going to be just like your grain mill. So you're good to go there. All right. Now we'll head all the way up across back up to the top. And I actually might put a little cut until we get up to the intersection here. And then I'll see you guys as we start passing through it. Well, you know what? Actually, no, it's literally right there. So we're just going to keep going. Definitely not a 4X map. So I thought about putting a cut there, but I think we'll be fine. We'll just continue on because we're already there. So... This is right about where I would have brought you in anyways. All right, and this will take us up to, I believe, what is it, the animal dealer? Yep, animal dealer, and then we also have the seed production at the top as well as a fuel fuel station, so. These roads are wild, look at this. Ooh, you get a little air on that one, it looked like. 
All right, Animal Dealer, Animal Dealer Cell Point, left-hand side here. We also have nice open lots. If you wanted to build your own productions, you could. Then we have the seed production up here, which I do want to take a look at this because, well, this is not a normal production that's on every map. We do have a nice little fuel station over here, though. Set back up over into here. Okay. So I'm assuming this works like a production point. Yeah. Right here. How much is this to buy? 35,000. We access it. So seeds from wheat, barley, oats. Look at that. Liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Get those in there and make some seeds. So there you go. Pretty simple. And then also we have cell point here, right? Don't we? Or no, maybe not. Yeah, we should actually. Yeah, my net seeds is the cell point. I'm assuming they will buy products up here. Let's go up to like something they would want to buy. Yeah, seed production will buy it, or Manette Seeds will buy it. And then, yeah. There you are. Let's go ahead and hop into flight mode. So we're up here, seed production facility up here. If we head down, you have your uh, production area where you can build some productions or whatever you want. Animal dealer, animal dealer sell point. Down here, you kind of got the main town area. You have the Swift Market, Swift Dairy. You have a Lime Station right there. Um, pretty cool. You have the wool, wool, wool sale right there where you can sell your wool. It's actually kind of difficult to get back there, to be fair. Yeah, that'd be tricky. You got to drive like around there with your with your wool. That might drive some of you absolutely over the edge. Does this open up? I don't think that opens up. It might, though. That might. That's actually kind of a big, a big question to answer, I think. Can you go through here? Oh, well, that's... You can go through it. Um, I don't know if it's designed for that or not, but you can go through that. There's no collision there, so you can do that. That's interesting. I'm surprised it doesn't, like, open up or anything like that. Hey, do you know why it doesn't open up? No? All right, that's fine. People aren't very friendly up here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyhow, on that note, we'll get back up in the air here. And I love this little, like, these little things right here, these little details. I feel like it kind of needs a little something more because there's not like a cell point or anything back here you need to access. But again, you also could buy the land, I think, and add whatever you want. And then there's this production area. So I guess, yeah, you do want kind of some big access for this production area. So I guess that's kind of fair. Uh, big dealership here. And then we have the grain elevator point right there. We hit across the bottom. These are the kind of areas we didn't see. We have a fuel station right here, as well as the sawmill right there. A little bit of forest area down here. We also have this guy up here, Debris Crusher, and then there's another cell point up here as well. Or down here, I guess I should say. Yeah, the Deroot cell point, so probably a root crop cell point. Another production area you could buy. And up here we have our cow farm right there, so there's a look at that from up above. Some more fields up this way, more fields up across over to where we were at. Nice little uh, kind of natural area here with some forestry work if you wanted to do it. And then our main farm right here with the 9 million silos. There you go. And that is that. So definitely a few little things I think could be fixed uh, by the map maker, but overall a really cool map. Um, let's take a look at one thing real quick in here. Um, we do have a couple of modded um, sheds in here, so that sheds you can you can put in if you'd like to. Um, we do have the dealership. I'm assuming it doesn't work as a dealership when you place it, but there's that. And we've got that shed right there. Uh, silos, maybe. It'll load. There we go. Yeah, we do have the fermenting silo, which is kind of nice. You can put that in. It's interesting that's in here, not in production. So we do have this big silo setup, this guy, this guy right here, which is kind of nice. Silo extensions, nothing in there. Containers, we do have um, this guy right here, which is a, that's that silo that could do whatever you want up with it. Lime station, and this guy right here, the fuel tank, which may or may not work. Um, oop, let's go back to here. Nope, oh, back to here, sorry. Tools is what we just were on. Nope, there we go. And we do have the shed, I'm assuming that has a repair trigger in it, so it's under tools. We do have the farmhouse, which may or not have a sleep trigger that works. Under production, we have Swift Dairy, Sawmill, and then the Swift Grain Elevator, which again just works as a standard production facility. Um, we do have a couple of cell points under here as well. Nothing under green. Oh, yeah, nothing under greenhouses. Sorry. Got excited for a second. Animals, we do have the cow barn large under here if we wanted to use that. Um, I don't think there's anything else under anyone else. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, if we go to painting, um, those are the six textures you get, so I wish they had more of those in there. But regardless of that, there you guys go. That is the map tour. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.